Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big Porky here, still the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm uh, just going to do a couple of videos. I did a two hour one yesterday with Matt Skelton. Matt, not Matt Skelton the boxer, Matt Skelton the cabbie from London, a good, good two hours and a few technical issues and I had one other day, a three hour interview with Robin Reed and uh, a few technical issues with that after so maybe, maybe I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know but uh, I'm uh, a bit fed up and after the interview with Robin I went to turn the car over and, and it, uh, I broke down, the battery was flat because it had an interior light on so not good is it? Not good. I'll just leave that there to breathe a bit. Uh, right, I don't really know where to start really to be honest. It's uh, you know it's been an interesting week hasn't it in, in boxing this week. Uh, I think that uh, we, we, we might as well just basically come straight out with it. Dominic Ingle has had another fighter with drug issues. Now we've had Galahad, Saunders, now we've got this uh, and Gabo or something, whatever he's called, cruiserweight now. What What is going on? I mean, is it because he's an Ingle, he's going to get away with it? If that were anybody else's gym in the country, right? there will be issues now people keep sending me screenshots I don't get to see everything that happens on Twitter unless people send me screenshots and well a few people have been having a dig I know Tony Bellew uh, don't get on with Dominic Ingle I know that Tony Bellew were very vocal in saying that Billy Joe Saunders never took the nasal spray stuff that was something apparently that they found out down the line that this drug test that Billy had failed, nasal spray were involved in it. So it's easy to say, oh, we took nasal spray. But what, what is going on? Do the fighters take this stuff? Now, Kid Galahad, he basically dug him in an hole. He says, yeah, there was stuff, but it wasn't me that took it. My brother spiked me. So if his brother spiked him, why would your brother spike you with that? I don't get that. Is that true? I don't know. Well, somebody's giving me it. Now, I, I know for a fact that Kid Galahad is a hard trainer. He's technically... His skills are off the charts, aren't they? And he's a hard trainer. But do any boxers out there admit that they've... Yeah, I would use him. There's only Gerald Miller admitted it. He's the only one that's come out. And I think there's a girl in there. Mia St John is it? I might be wrong on that. So that's two that I know that have admitted taking performance enhancing drugs. Rocky! Rocky, come down here! That's two that have that took performance enhancing drugs that have admitted it. That's PEDs. Now, but Galahad saying, I didn't take it, somebody spiked me with my brother. Well, that's that issue done. Mick Hennessy got him a six month reduced on his ban from two years to 18 months. Billy Joe Saunders, he's saying I had note. Now, who gave Billy Joe Saunders that? Now, everybody in the industry who I know who speak to, they all say that it's Dominic Ingle who distributes them the medication, not medication, the nutritions and things like that. Now, Dominic's quite up on stuff like that. He looks well for a 50 year old, doesn't he? He looks in better shape than what I do. Come here, come on, come here, come on. Good boy. What's the matter? What's the matter? Come see me. Hey, you look different with your haircut, don't you? You yeah, okay, Mickus? Hey, Mickus. You're shaking. What's the matter with you? Have you seen a ghost? What's the matter? Firework. Can you hear fireworks? Come here, don't be frightened. Only a few fireworks. Hey? 
and check in. Now, Dominic's obviously in good shape. He knows a lot about nutrition. His brother-in-law is a doctor and he's a nutrition expert as well, apparently. It's the same doctor, the Asian gentleman that does the boxing border control fights. You know, he's the doctor in the corner. That's Dominic's brother-in-law. He's married to Dominic's sister. So they're steeped in boxing history at Ingalls, aren't they? They're, they're, uh, they're on uh, area council for amateurs and things like that. So they're, they're, they play a big part in boxing in the community. You know, their gym's probably had funding 40 years, so they get a living out of boxing. They know if a fighter performs out of his skin, they get the rewards, don't they? But at what cost? Because sooner or later, somebody's going to get killed, aren't they, in this ring? Now, we've already had Scott Westgarth from Sheffield die in ring. Now, if it had come out that Scott Westgarth's opponent were on performance enhancing drugs, there'd be hell on, wouldn't there? There'd be people going around to people's houses and dragging them out of the house and beating them in broad daylight in front of their families. That's what would be going on. Now, sooner or later, something's got to give, hasn't it, with this, because how are they getting away with it? Now, that's three people that we know of. Now, I don't want to hear about people saying that Kel Brooks uh, on gear or Johnny Nelson were on gear or Liam Williams is on gear. They've never failed a drug test as far as we know. Liam Williams is most improved fighter in this country and I'm going to go with the notion that Liam Williams has done that through hard graft. Now, but we need somebody in the media, because he's not going to be me, is it? Dominic's welcome to come on my channel anytime. Come to my office. You can come to Dennis Hobson's office and I'll interview you, Dominic, if you want. Because I know you're watching this. You can come to my office anytime you want, Dominic, and I'll ask you in your face, are you giving these boxers drugs? If not, why are people in the industry saying, you take the kids for breakfast after they've been training, you eat lunch with them, you tell them when to go to bed, what to eat. You're in charge, you're the mother hen of the gym, Dominic. You've got to start taking some responsibility. Is there a drug issue at your gym? I think there is. Now, nobody's going to come out and say it. Tony Bellew's come out and said it. He's a cruiserweight world champion boxer, so he can have a fight, can't he? I can't have a fight, me. I'm just a small little small little YouTuber. That's all. SMO, small. But what's right is right. Now, how many people out there that are boxers have lost to Ingle fighters now? They're all going to be sat at home thinking, do you know what? I think maybe they might have been on something. Now, when you're at this level, right, we have what's known, what's called masking agents. These masking agents, what they do, they cover, they cover up when you've got stuff in your system. And how it works is, they'll get testing kits. They'll let you get, they'll let you take performance enhancing drugs. They'll take a take a test off you, and they'll do it so many days, and they'll try and see if they can get away with it. And they'll keep testing you at certain times, these people, these, whatever we call them, the cheats. And then they'll test it, they'll, they'll do your urine test, their own testing stuff. They'll do it with masking agents until they find something that masks over the performance enhancing drugs now. They've been caught three times now. But what these people do, they have a plan B. So if they do get caught, they can throw an answer. Now, when Galagad got caught, he will bang to right, so all he could say is, I mean, brother put some out, my spike spiked him. What sort of brother does that? Do I believe that? No, I don't believe that for one minute. What sort of brother would do that? Why? I mean, when he, when he did it, Barry were hardly driving around in Ferraris and earning millions, wasn't he? He, he, were, he, he were, well, he wasn't at the top of his game like he is now when it happened, was it? So I don't believe that. The Billy Joe Saunders one, I don't think for one minute Billy Joe Saunders would even take anything like that. I don't think he would. Has he been given something and not known about it? Maybe. We don't know. We're never going to get to the bottom of like that. But what I do know is this. Billy Joe Saunders, don't, he's not trained by Dominic Ingle no more, is he? And I'm now hearing people saying that they're not going to 
want to work with Dominic Ingle now. This is fighters. Now, I know parents that are saying they're not going to take the kids up to that gym. I mean, what's going on? Dominic, you need to come out and explain yourself. We don't want to see all these political answers and blah de blah I mean, people are saying that you're going to throw this kid under the bus. Look, if your fighters are juicing, there's a problem. There's a problem now. I don't normally agree with anything Tony Bellew says. But Tony Bellew has got a massive profile. And if he's coming out questioning what's going on, something needs to give. Now, Coogan Cassius is not going to ask the right questions. Michelle Phelps isn't. Rob Tebbett isn't. The big three, I call them. them and they're not going to answer questions. Michelle Phelps drives from Manchester in her fancy car all the way to Sheffield to go to Ingle Gym and then she drives back to Manchester. She don't call it Mick Wales Gym. She don't call it Steffi Bull's Gym. Dennis Hobson's Gym. She don't go to Steel City and Sheffield Gym. She don't go to Chris Smedley's Gym. Do you know where I'm, you know where I'm coming from? She don't go to all them gyms. She don't go to Glen Rose Gym. She goes to Ingle Gym because Dominic Ingle and Billy Joe Saunders, when he were there, they do numbers, don't they? Kel Brook. You know, Gallard, they all do views, don't they? It's no good going to see Tommy Frank, is it? Or Josh Whale, people like that, because they don't do as much numbers as them, do they? So, I have a problem with that, but them people are not going to... They're not going to ask the proper questions, whereas me... Oh, oh, I've got loads of questions I want to ask. But they know it'll end up in a screaming match if I ask them, don't they? I will put them on the spot. Did you know your fighters were taking performance-enhancing drugs, Dominic? He's going to say no, and I'm going to say, well, what are you doing about it if your fighters are getting tested, the failing? Why aren't you throwing them out of the gym? Why? Why aren't these people being thrown out of the gym, thrown out of boxing? I want them thrown out of boxing, me. Nobody's going to do anything, are they? Now, Eddie Hearns made a stand this last week. He's saying, I didn't want to sign Gerald Miller. What he's forgetting is that Bob Arum uh, put a better offer in for him, didn't he? So, for Miller, well, so as far as I'm concerned, Gerald Miller is a drug cheat. He's admitted it though, and Eddie's saying he can't get his head around signing him, but I don't know if that's Cockadart is or what. You know, okay. Yeah. Because. Love you, Daddy. Loves me, this doggy, doesn't he? But. What I, want to, what I will say while I've got Rocky here, if you ever get a girlfriend and she looks at you like Rocky looks at me, you know you've got a nice girlfriend and she loves you. So always look for that. <laughs> but now I think that Dominic Ingle's got to come out. He's got some explaining to do. I mean, three kids have been caught on his watch. On his watch. Now, Dominic, people say in industry, is a control freak. I don't know him. I don't know him. I've heard, you know, rumours and... I've heard years ago he picked an old chair up in gym, you know like you get a settee, three and two single chairs, he picked this old single chair and he crushed it, he went crush, he crushed this big chair like Samson and uh, you know I've heard all sorts of rumours now that he texts, uh, he's got these t-shirts Dominic and he has arm part on t-shirts tuck up so it's tight on his arms to make his arms look bigger. I've heard he even measures his arms. I mean, there's even videos of him squatting with Michelle Joy Phelps and Gatherad on his back. I mean, what's all that about? I'm just going to show them how strong I am on my legs. The name's Stan Strong. Look, Stan Strong, Vin Diesel, whatever you want to call him, Flex Wheeler. Flex Wheeler lost a leg, by the way. Taking steroids. Look, there's a problem. Dominic's got to come out and he's got to answer some questions. I mean, what are Boxing Board of Control going? People are calling it the, the, uh, the Ingle Lab. There's something going on up there, isn't there? There's something going on up there. What? I don't know, because everybody's not going to... They're not going to be transparent, are they? They're all going to tell lies, aren't they? They're all going to deny it, aren't they? It's like having an affair behind your wife's back, isn't it? You're never going to admit it, are you? And even if they caught you with video evidence, you're just going to say... Yeah, I may have effed her, but I make love to you, baby. You're never going to admit it, are you? It's the old, it's like an armed robber getting caught. He's just never going to admit it, is he? 
So, as far as I'm concerned, it's bad for boxing, what's going on, and people need to start asking serious questions, but they're not going to, these people are not going to want to answer questions, are they? Dominic, you've got to come out and say, I'm firing these kids out at gym, they're cheating, or so-and-so is giving me, I mean, who is giving these people performance enhancing drugs? Where are they getting them from? I mean, everybody knows Dominic's a bodybuilder. He's into all this nutrition stuff. You know, he'll have best nutrition expert advice. All these fighters all look in phenomenal condition. I mean, John and Nelson were in phenomenal condition when he trained there. But on Johnny on anything, I don't know, but this is how I look at it now. There's got to be question marks around any fighter that is trained by Dominic Ingle. There's got to be question marks. And people in the industry, that's what they're saying. The managers, the promoters, the trainers, the fighters, they're all saying, listen, if I'm fighting any of them, I want testing. Now, testing is a £1,000 a go, right? Josh Whale fought for IBO International Belt last time out. Thousand quid, thousand pound, right? Got to be tested now. Look how many title fights Eddie Earn puts on a year. Can you imagine how much money he's giving to these these t testers? Now, has there been people that have been caught with performance enhancing drugs who were promoted by a powerful promoter, and that fight is a pay per view? Has there been people caught where? They've given them a ban, but they've not put it out. They're not put it out. They've just said, right, we're going to punish you. You're going to be out of boxing for a year, but we're not going to make a press release on it because we still want to work with you down the line. Has that happened with Kel Brook? Did it happen with Floyd Mayweather? Because he had an enforced absence from boxing. These people fight two times a year on pay-per-view, and they earn millions and millions of pounds. Now, Floyd Mayweather never fought, did he? He brings a lot of money into Vegas. When he fights, a billion pound, billion dollars goes into Vegas. So if Floyd fights twice a year, that's two billion. If he doesn't fight, there's a problem. Now, do you remember when he had a break for ages out of boxing? And then he came back, didn't he? Had he been banned? We don't know, do we? Now, this is the dark side of the sport that I have a problem with. Do you know what I mean? Coming out of what I used to be involved into this, it's the the difference is at least I know what that were. Whereas this, you've got people masquerading as pillars of the community. They're taking funding for the gyms, and they are pillars of community. When we all know what they really are behind the scenes, don't we? Do you know what I mean? If they're going to be involved in crime and then get involved in boxing and say it saved a life, they're still going to bring a criminal element into boxing. So people are going to look for an edge because if you can get that edge, you get to the big money, you get to the pay-per-view status, don't you? And as there been people that have been criminals and been involved in that life and ended up pay-per-view fighters, who would you say them people are? And have them people been had drug bans? Well, we don't know, do we? Have they had a ban? Have they had a silent ban? We don't know, but there's a mystery around it. And now that we've got all these people being tested, it's all coming out, isn't it? People are getting caught, but only the little fish are getting caught. He, uh, Eves and Gabo, or whatever he's from, he, he's not an English fighter, is he? But he's an Ingle fighter trained by Dominic Ingle. He's been caught, but he's small fry, isn't he? He's small fry. When are we going to get a big fish? When's a big fish going to be caught? And if they are caught, how are we going to get to hear about it? We need transparency, that's what we need. And like I said, I want to see trainers, these people who come out. Because don't forget, Dominic Ingalls a trainer and a manager. Trainer 10%, manager 20%. You're taking 30%. So if a fighter can get a million pound fight, Dominic Ingalls is going to get 300 grand, isn't he? And that's how you've got to look at it. If a fighter's on 10 million, he's going to get 3 million. So he's got a conflict of interest for these fighters to perform well. Is he giving them these drugs? We don't know. Is he in charge of them? Yeah. He's got properties where the Ingle gym is that he rents out to fighters. 
He takes them for the breakfast, he takes them training, he takes them on runs. He's the person that they'll turn to when they're having a tough time in their personal lives. He's like the mother, the father, the uncle, the big brother, the trainer, the nutritionist, the strength and conditioner. He's spinning 20 plates from every single kid. He's got a lot on his plate. Do you know what I mean? And if mistakes are made, we want to know about it. You've just heard Kel Brook come out, haven't you, and say that I've been cutting corners all my career. But yet he always looks in fantastic condition. And he's 38 and 2. He's only lost twice against world class opposition. Elite pound for pound stars beat him. And he was doing well at some stage in both of them fights. So if he's been cutting corners all his career and now all of a sudden he isn't cutting corners, what is he trying to tell us? He's just done 14 months out of boxing, Kel. So what's he trying to tell us? What? Has he been on gear? We don't know, do we? He's not failed a dope test to my knowledge. Has he failed one in the past? We don't know, do we? We're never going to get to know he's a pay-per-view star, isn't he? But it's all a bit smelly, isn't it? But Dominic, you've got to come out, Dominic, and you've got to answer some serious questions. If any more people fail in your gym, are you going to resign as a trainer manager, Dominic? Are you going to, is gym going to fold? I mean, what's the point in having a gym that no, that, that, with all these fighters that nobody wants to fight them because if Dennis says to me, what about so-and-so for, for Josh Whaler or so-and-so for Tommy Frank, I'll say no. They're an Ingle fight and they might be juiced out of the minds. If one of our fighters gets badly injured and it comes out that these people have been on performance and hands in drugs, Dennis, well, what, what's that going to... What what we're going to tell the kids' parents, eh? Say for instance, Josh Whale gets injured in a fight, and it's against an Ingle fighter, and it comes out and he's failed a drug test. How can I look Mick Whale in the face again? So Mick Whale's not going to want to put his kid in with one of the Ingle fighters. Josh Whale's already fought Galahad, hasn't he? And been beat. Were Galahad juicing? Well, he has, he hasn't passed, hasn't he? And I think he did after Josh. So, I don't know, we, we don't know, do we? It's all shrouded in mystery up there, isn't it? But somebody's got to come out and answer some proper questions now. If it takes me to come out and say this on here and saying that people have to be accountable, so be it, I'm not bothered, I've got a bit of bottle, Anna. If I see Dominic and he's got a problem with me, I'll say, well, Dominic, all you've got to do is come out and answer some proper questions. What's going on in your gym? It's on your watch, this. Are you giving them stuff? He'll say no. I say, well, if anybody mo any more fail, are you going to kick him out of gym? He's going to say no, isn't he? Because they wanna, they're going to want to earn. It's wrong. What's going on is wrong. And like I said, nobody seems to remember back in a stand about it. It'll all be swept under the carpet in a couple of weeks. A bit like Barry Earn being named in Epstein's book on telly, on American TV, but Sky Sports, Sky News, they're not mentioning it. But if it does come out, that Barry Earn's been involved in anything untoward, that Sky deal will be gone with matched them. They'll be on the knees, won't they? So, so I can assure you there'll be things going on behind the scenes to stop that. Just like things will be going into overdrive to sort this drug test out, because that's what happens. It's a sport that's filthy, and I'm up to here with it. I'm up to here with it. There's kids been losing fights against Ingle fighters, and I'm telling you now, I know, sure as eggs are eggs, People are dirty and they've been winning fights. They've been winning fights and they're dirty and it's wrong. But they've been going away with it. What about the Ingle fighters that are fighting and they're fighting in, in, for, in, against other kids but there's no drug testing because we only have drug testing for, for fights that are, where there's a title online. What about the non-title fights? Are they all juiced out of the mines? I mean, come on. It's just... I'm just sick of it now, I'm just sick of it. What do you reckon, Rockinator? Are we sick of it? Huh? Are we sick of it? Huh? Are we sick of all drug testing? So, it's about it, really. So, shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging UK Limited, and Rotherham, and Innovation Alloys, AJ Hobson in Sheffield, Scrap Mail. Alright? Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. And, uh, just keep, just keep tuning in. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's the red button at the bottom. And let's build the channel up. Can only do it with hardcore fans. Anybody who wants to come on channel, get in touch. Pokycorner at mail.com. And I'll have you on channel. I'll ring you up. Leave your number. If you're on WhatsApp, I'll give you a ring. And I'll have you on. Alright? What's the matter? I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out. Come on then. Come on. You want to go out, Rock? <laughs>